Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Demolitionist Suicidal Cramps' Lair. This has been a strange recording week, because uh, I recorded the previous episodes on Monday, uh, and then I took that bit of a break that I said I was going to take in the last episode, and I just, I haven't had time to record again since. So it's now Friday, like, evening. I'm getting this episode done. I only have the time for this one episode. So this one's going up tomorrow morning. <laughs> And, uh, I, just, I don't have a backlog like at all right now. Which, uh, which feels honestly kind of bad. Um, because I like having that backlog, but, I mean, such is life, right? I'll have to turn that music down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Or more like that should be good. Um, yeah, it's, it'll be fine. I gotta... Record this episode tonight, and then the remaining episodes this week tomorrow, probably, if uh, if I have the time. I think I have to go visit my grandparents. I might only have time to record one episode tomorrow as well. Um, so it's kind of kind of a bit of a strange week, but oh well, it's fine. I think I uh, I muted myself a little bit too early there. Sorry about that. I have a bad habit of doing that. I just had dinner. I had. Um, Poutine? Yeah, I had poutine for dinner. It's very nice. I, I did get a fridge. We actually had a spare fridge, so I didn't have to go and buy one. Um, so we just I'm just using a fridge that we have. Uh, I haven't had time to go grocery shopping to get uh, food for it yet, but I'm planning on going tomorrow if I have the time, or Sunday uh, if tomorrow doesn't end up working out. And then I'm going to be able to start... Uh, Hopefully being a vegetarian, or uh, at least eating healthier and, and being able to manage my own meals a little bit better. And just eating tastier meals in the first place, because that's kind of one thing that's kind of sucked, is it's either bad meals or expensive meals, you know? Um, so, but now I'll be able to go grocery shopping, get my own food, and uh, have, that, have that freedom to... to to enjoy my meals and, and have fun cooking and, and all that. I don't have my own kitchen yet, which uh, which kind of st which kind of stinks. But yeah, I can't I can't get I can't ask for anything, right? Got to settle somewhere. Got my own fridge. It's a little uh, Canadian hockey themed fridge. Uh, it's got a few shelves in it and stuff, so it's going to be functional as a fridge, which is all I really need. I don't need too much space because I'm only one person ultimately, but. Um, I do need I do need enough space to put some veggies and uh, like some pre-made meals for for reheating and whatnot. Breakfast lunches, probably put some smoothies and stuff in there as well. I have that space. I'm really looking forward to uh, to being able to um, experience having my own fridge and. Being able to make meals ahead of time and leave them in there, which is not something I've really been able to do before. Not in like uh, in any kind of proper like scheduled thing. Like I've been able to make meals and leave them leftovers in there, but I haven't been able to plan out like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna make six days worth of leftovers and just leave it in the fridge and reheat it as I uh, as I need it. I've never been able to do that before, and I'm gonna be able to do that now. So I'm really, really, honestly, quite excited about it. Um, but I got my own fridge. I was kind of excited to go fridge shopping, um, so I might still end up going fridge shopping. The The thing is with this fridge, honestly, the thing is with our house, um, the only place that it can really go is downstairs. Uh, there isn't really any space upstairs for a fridge, for another one. Um, so in order for me to have my own fridge, it has to be downstairs, except our kitchen is upstairs, so it's kind of like, eh. I have a, a, a microwave downstairs, so if I have like, uh, You know, some some food in in the fridge that uh, that uh, that I can reheat and then just eat. I don't need like a plate for anything. Like if it's in plastic bags or if it's on plates when I put it in there, uh, I can reheat it on the microwave downstairs and then eat it downstairs as long as it doesn't require a fork and knife. Or I could maybe keep a little bit of cutlery down there. Um, but then the other thing is, is I have to take that upstairs, so it's like well. 
uh, kind of a kind of a bit of a mess. But it'll be nice to have my own fridge and be able to uh, make my own food and get back to that. Cause I want to be a vegetarian again. So I have a little bit of uh, meat left just for uh, previous shopping. Whenever meat's on sale, I tend to buy it and then just freeze it for emergencies, which I'll probably still continue to do because I don't, I don't know. I want to be a vegetarian, but I'm not super into being a vegetarian. Like, I'm not, you know, be all end all. I have to be a vegetarian if I ever meet, eat, eat, if I ever eat meat, I failed. You know, it's kind of just, I don't really care to eat meat, so I'll just not really get it. But if I do get it, it's fine. I'm not going to exclude meat. I'm just not going to include it, if that makes sense. Man, these doors are tanky. Um, so yeah, uh, it'll be, it'll be super, super nice to have my own fridge. I like cooking, so I'm going to, I'm going to try and get my own knives as well. I've got, uh, I've got my own whetstone. Uh, I have my own cutting board. I have uh, a few, like, plates and stuff as well. Um, but I don't have my own, like, knives. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably start buying those. I've got it. I want to get um, uh, like computer stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, lots of lots of stuff to do, but uh, knives are definitely on the list of things. I got a sharpener knives too. I haven't sharpened them in quite a while, and they're they're noticeably duller, so. I'll have to I'll have to get around to that. I like sharpening knives. It's good fun. Super good fun. I've been I've been continuing to learn Japanese, so that's uh, that's still on routes. I'm I'm starting to learn kanji, which is super fun uh, it's not as scary as I thought it was it's like um, just words uh, except kind of words um, you have to I don't know it, it's it's kind of like like when I see yeah I don't see y e a at like y e a h right like I just I see the word yeah right so kanji is kind of a similar thing like yeah there's a lot of them but I mean, how many words do you know, right? Do you recognize them as letters, or do you recognize them as words? When you see the, the shape that make up that word, I mean, y you see it as a word, right? So it's it's not really that scary, um, but it is. I mean, it's taken me 25 years to get to the point where I know as many English words as I know. So I don't uh, I don't claim to be able to master kanji in in record time or anything, but I don't think it's as scary as people make it out to be. Um, I think it'll be. I think it'll be pretty doable to learn. I mean, obviously it is because people have done it. It's it's how you speak in or write anyway in Japanese. I mean, technically, I think you also speak with kanji at times. I, th I think that that kanji is kind of used in the. It's not like you're not writing it, but it's it's kind of using the like. Oh no, it's not that word. It's it's this word, written like this, right? Like I, I think I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. That. All right, we have to land this perfectly. We did not land it perfectly. Did not land that one perfectly either. Okay. Okay. A little, a little scary, but I mean, we we mostly made it, right? We're surviving, at least. That's what matters. Yeah. Okay. A little scary. We had a D&D &D session today. That went amazingly. The, uh... One of the, they, they, they got arrested, and then they were taken out for a public flogging, and in the public flogging, one of the characters was enraged and, and lashed out at the, the guards. Uh, and somehow they managed to take out all of the guards that were surrounding them, it was, it was seven guards and a captain that were, seven guards and a veteran that were surrounding them, they were unarmed and bound, 
and uh, just the dice rolls managed to to get them through it somehow. And then they escaped the town and they're running off in, uh, in towards the east, and uh, they have absolutely nothing on them at all except for some swords and pouches that they scavenged from the guards they slew. It's uh. It was quite the interesting session, and it's really throwing me for a loop, because I wasn't expecting that to go that way. Uh, they were supposed to, um, like, get through the flogging, and then they would be uh, let out by one of the uh, the supporters that they have. Um, but they didn't even make it through the flogging, so uh, it was, yeah, it went, went not quite the way I expected, but it was it was a ton of fun. It was very, very uh, climactic, I guess. So uh, I, I had uh, good fun with it. It was it was a lot of like uh, improv though, because I wasn't expecting it to go that way, and I had to just come up with stuff on the fly to make it happen. And uh, it was uh, it was it was a good practice for, um, I don't know, just being able to do that. But, uh, yeah, the next session I have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, it's just, there's so many options at this point, right? Because they're running off towards the east with, with absolutely nothing on them, so it can really be anything. I'm, uh, I'm expecting there to be some issues along the way. Some drama, some uh, encounters. While well, they have nothing to see how that goes. Okay. I'm expecting there to be some encounters while they uh, while they escape towards the east. Yeah, I didn't see that one going well. But uh, I have to figure out. It's gonna be a lot of thinking, re rewriting everything that I had planned and and everything because they just they just kind of threw a wrench in the loop with that one. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching, remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Got a lot of new subscribers recently, I want to say hello to you all. Thanks for subscribing, really appreciate it, it makes me feel really good when I get the, the little notification on my phone saying there's a new subscriber, it's a real big confidence booster. Getting lots of views on the videos, that also feels really good. Lots of likes too. No, not enough comments, you guys got to comment more. No, I'm not getting the comments dopamine yet, but uh, everything else is there. Anyway, that's going to do it, so uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.